using his athleticism and anticipation to disrupt that bus offense. Got the ball out of Middleton's hands. Marvin Williams gets the triple. He's been a corner three guy forever. It's a four-point lead. It's a six-to-nothing run right now. For Milwaukee, DiVincenzo. Sharing it with George Hill, and it pays off. So now it's 30 minutes, and that's Giannis, and he's right at 30 minutes. So they play a lot of guys for extended minutes. They got a lot of confidence in this group. But they're still able to execute and score consistently and that's coming up short. So it was strong on the first drive. It's Marvin Williams clears it away. Hill lost the handle. It's going the other way. Tried to sell it a little bit and got caught a little space. He'll spin on the baseline. And doesn't get the reverse. Diva Chenzo will keep it alive. Short shot clock. George Hill knew it. And Payne, it's almost like the plan is zone. Look at the free around. Good positioning. George Hill, he found the soft spot underneath, didn't he? Did raise it. But again, it was the veteran, Augustine, with the great penetration, forcing the help, and then delivering the pass on time there for that triple. George Hill, Booch. 30 as well. Like, it's, it's not as if this is a West Coast team playing an East Coast team. You're going to get the foul there. But I just, again, you're playing team on Saturday. And we're going to be back here. We'll have them again on Monday. Inside, it goes to Wesley Matthews. Great cut by Matthews, and be something that gets the intensity level ramped up here for the one seed. Now, DJ Augustine inside of 10 on the shot clock, tripped up by George Hill. This is 6.23 to play, averaging 30 a game. It'll be Foles casting a triple. That's not his game at this point of his career. On the run. Boy, they walled off Giannis, didn't they? But he made the right read there. Called all yeah. the time. You don't <laughs> see it very often. That one may be a little more pronounced than most. But that's two straight turnovers, too. So after doing such a good job early on, they're going to get him in just a nice soft pass up top to get Lopez an easy deuce. Now, Adetokounmpo, he's already got two fouls still on the floor. And I bring that up on the block. And, and great recognition by the Magic, seeing they have that mismatch, and how about that versatility with Gooch, can also score with his back to the basket, and nice finish there. But yeah, he's their second leading scorer, but he's not someone you would expect to be scoreless at this point in the game, and fortunately, other guys have been able to step up here for the Magic. Yeah, Gooch is averaging 20. Augustine taking his time, waiting for the pick. It's blocked. Good job by Bledsoe as he leaked out. George Hill has a patient, but lost it. And Giannis couldn't clean it up. He's back at it. A little more than six to play. 16 for Ross, as you mentioned, and make it 18. And I tell you, they are dicing Milwaukee up. And really, it's been Middleton who is struggling to contain that. Up to 33 and counting, and he's 5 of 8 on his triples. 14-point game and a shocker. It'll be George Hill. Hey. And it was Vucevic who changed that shot. Wesley Matthew offense making the right reads. They've got a mismatch inside. But it's gone astray. So Vuce waited for it a long time. And then it handcuffed him. Giannis doesn't get the roll. Fournier. Fournier, he's got to play with him. First bucket of the game. How 31 big. minutes on the floor. How big was that three. And that was about as difficult a shot as he's had all game. Almost taken away. Goes right to George Hill. He'll shoot two on the foul by four. Hill on the run. Folks was back in there. Great look. George Hill got the triple. And good decision by Connick. And the upset so far in the NBA playoffs comes on day two, game number one in this series of one against eight. Step through, George Hill goes to the line looking for the three-point.